Ladies and gentlemen, Nordy Griffin here, welcoming you back to the beautiful island of Tokikai. There is an absolute race going on out on the ocean for people to come and visit our island over here. We got a little bit of a bus depot right here, or a couple of bus lines that take these tourists out, and I think they all line up color-coded. That's really neat. We got a couple of elves over here, some pumpkin fans. Lots of red people, and then the blue guys, as well as a couple in green. So it's kind of funny how they all line up color coded. But as we can see, we are in desperate need of more public transportation. But for this episode, let's go ahead and build our zoo. And it was suggested by one of the comments of CHD Returns that we build it out on this island over here. My initial plan was to put it over here on the other side of the island, but we can just do this whole area residential and have a big big old park and then do a zoo island over here. I mean, who doesn't like the sound of a zoo island? I think that was an awesome idea. Thank you very much, CHD Returns. But before we start that, which we will start in just a couple of seconds. We have a couple of problems over here, which has something to do with traffic. So, this is way backed up over here. All these geniuses are only using the right lane. And this is a little bit backed up as well. And before we forget, I had a poll uh, on the YouTube video. Uh, on episode two, about where we where we should choose where we we should place down the ark, and options that got votes were right here and over here, which was Moana Drive. <clears throat> but I'm gonna go with what the people want, or at least the one person that voted. I think it was me and another guy that voted. He chose over here. I want to make this episode. I want to make this series a series where you guys help me, so let's just plop this down right here. And this can be our archway right here. Welcome to beautiful Tokikai. Stuck in traffic. And yeah, where well you'll need to be in traffic for a while before you are able to get to the amusement park. So, first things first. Let's upgrade this roundabout to a highway over here. We already have everything connected to via the elevated pathway so that shouldn't be a problem. And let's see how this plays out. I'm sure that the bus stop right here is a major issue as well. But maybe maybe the roundabout being upgraded to a highway already helps. And let's get a couple of higher density roads. Higher volume of traffic roads going on over here. Maybe that'll help us as well. And then over here, let's upgrade this to bus lane since there are so many buses taking this road. So we'll keep this right here, two lanes, and in, in hopes that these guys, oh boy, maybe we will need three lanes after all. So upgrade that again, three lanes right here. That pathway got destroyed. This got destroyed as well. So we'll rebuild that in a second. Oh boy, a lot of things just got destroyed. So let's grab our tool real quick. Not a big deal. This is not a deal breaker. We'll have to redo this prettier. And then there was one connecting over here. Yeah. Does that connect? No, it does not. Does it? Maybe it would. If we turned off all the snapping, maybe? Let's see really quick. I did really don't want to destroy that building right there. I guess that counts. Right? People? Yes, people can use it. Perfect. And now we just need one more connection. Going right over here. Perfect. No, not yet. One more is missing. You right here are missing. 
I mean, it's a little steep, but we want physically fit people, so you guys got to go and take a hike. So let's see if this is working so far. We can actually add a turn lane right over here. Maybe not a turn lane, but just more lanes. So it looks to be... Oh boy, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to pan out. We'll let it run for a little bit. And... We also need more public transportation, so we could work on that in the next episode. But let's grab a bus depot real quick, so we at least have something. So let's... I thought this could be a good spot for a bus depot right here. Or a transport hub, actually. So let's just do something very simple. And then maybe in the next episode we can do something more intense. Why does this not want to snap? Now I cut the power supply, but actually that will not matter to us because we have this that will transmit more power. Actually, it will not. One second, guys. We're taking care of this. Let's grab a couple of these buses and tell them all to meet over here. You meet here, and on your way back, you should come back again as well. Same thing goes for you, buddy. Let's grab the blue line right here that stops by the amusement park. And then what else? The green line should probably go there as well. You know what? Screw it. We'll make our lines go there. This is going to be a little bit crowded, but that is okay. Green line. All right. Now let's see this pan out and see it in action a bit here. But Zoo Island. Let's get going, guys. So let's take the zoo tool right here. Park drawing tool. That's all we need. And let's just do this entire area zoo right here. Amity Park. Is this only for parks? Maybe it is. Hold on. I'm not sure if it is or not, but let's just play it safe. Alright, so for the bridge across, I was thinking of doing this beautiful one. Just because it's a, it's so pretty. Well, let's just go right here and get a straight road going. So it was either going to be this one or this one. And I think architecture wise, um, this one just looks a lot prettier in my opinion. And if it's unable to handle the traffic, we can always upgrade it. No big deal, but for now... Let's just do that, and these boats fit underneath it easily, so that's good. Give the people a turning lane option. Oh, I was hoping this wasn't gonna be wasn't gonna be as steep. So let's grab this on its own, and maybe oh, that's, that looks nice. There we go. And as soon as you're back here, oh no, you will be two lanes again. Okay, so we got that. We got a pretty bridge that needs an exit as well. Now I was thinking over there, of course, we are going to grab this island on top over there as well. Um, I'm not quite sure what we should do yet. Of course, we could just fill that up with um, hotels and stuff, make it an exclusive island resort. Or it could just be a hiking island. So those are our options. Hiking or exclusive resort. Residents will just plop a couple more residential areas over there. So I don't think we'll need that. But either a hiking island or like a whole nature preserve island. Or a hotel resort. You guys let me know what you think. I'll try to add a poll again for that in this episode. You will find a little 
I icon, like the letter I, on the top right corner of the video if you hover over it. So please make sure you vote and help us out, figure out what we're going to plop on this island. So, Zoo Island is going to be right here, which is going to be heavenly, I think. I think that's going to be awesome. Uh, I hope we'll have enough space, so let's, let's actually squeeze that a little bit further down that way. Maybe I just have to freeform the whole thing and just follow along. The bridge across over here is going to be insane. I wonder, is there a way to just put a ferry pier there and then people still have the cars over there? Do you think that's possible? I'm not sure. If it is, let me know. If we don't need a street connection at all and just put a ferry pier over there and have... Have them take their cars across on a boat, for example, or something like that. Let me know if that's possible, because that would be kind of cool as well. But let's grab our main gate. Maybe we should do a little bit of an off street right here. That the main gate sits on. So people have space for parking. Let's curve this around. All right, here's our zoo. We unlock the moose and reindeer enclosure, zoo side gate, souvenir shop, antelope enclosure, zoo restrooms, birdhouse, and zoo cafe, and zoo plaza. Now, this entire island needs to get water as well. So I'm going to connect all this with water. And bring some power over here. I'm not going to do a fancy pipe job, just something real quick. Does it fit right in the middle? Yes, it does. Somewhat. Good enough. Now, let's give this a cool name. Charge admission, sir. Sure, $10 and we'll activate the animal ethics. Zoo animals receive extra care and activities to keep them happy and entertained. I think that makes sense. We'll advertise this park as well and we'll recycle our garbage. Now, you need power too. We could either... Have this island produce its own power, but these things aren't pretty, that's the problem, and I don't want to run... I don't want to run these things across the water either. So maybe, let's see what kind of power plants we got available. Just have a solar updraft power over here. Geothermal power plant. Ah, uh, what are we going to do? Just hide these somewhere? off over here it's an option let's see how it looks if we don't like it we can always change that and do something else in the near future alright so let's get started on our zoo over here you should have power right now so let's take you out so I recently posted a video where I found out that there, if you do this width, all the buildings fit in between these squares real nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and do something similar. Over here actually let's put a... Do we have any plazas? Yes we do. So this thing... Oh, we need to expand that first. So let's encircle this whole encircle this whole island. All nice and pretty. Perfect. And we also have water available because I know for a fact that there is an aquatic animal enclosure. So maybe we can have two of those. So let's plop down a plaza right over here. And then you can run the paths right alongside it. Lots of trees around here it seems. And let's do the central avenue with trees and then the side avenues without trees so the central avenue sticks out better. Do our first little stop right there so let's grab the cafe
There we go. I wonder if we did two cafes, one left and one right. And then the souvenir shop should be right at the entrance. Place two of those as a big trap for all the kids like, hey, you think about leaving? How about you check this place out? And now we got to think about the setup over here a little more. So there are lots of enclosures with African animals. Let's see what we got here. We have the moose and reindeer. We got the birdhouse and the antelopes. So we could do something like on the right side over here. We'll have the African animals. And the bison would go on the North American side over here. Flamingos. Would go somewhere by the water, I guess. Elephants, African. Sea life can be right out here, down the middle. Giraffes are African. Monkey palace. I mean, there's monkeys all over the world, so we could put them somewhere in the middle. Rhinos are in Africa. Lions are in Africa. And that would be that. So let's do something like that that we were talking about. Let's grab the pathway again. And we'll have this run right over here. And then we can grab the trampoline as well. And the chessboard, we can do a little bit of a park area right here. So let's work on that actually right away. So we'll grab that. Oops, this is the wrong path. I was wondering why it looked different for a second. So let's have these meet right along this one. We'll get rid of this one. So over here, see what is the best way of doing this, how it all looks natural and flowing. We could do the chessboard. That one lines up nicely with over there. Let's put down some restrooms over here. Zoo restroom right there. Right in the middle of it. Climbing fence. Let's have that over by the monkey enclosure. I think that would be funny. Trampoline park. Why not? Let these kids let out some more energy before they head home. Wondering if we should connect this and have it run over there and connect it right there. Or is that too many pathways? Maybe we'll have the bottom one go there. And then somewhere over here, let's put down our first enclosure moose and reindeer. Let's get rid of this path right here. So let's rotate this just like that. I think that looks fairly decent. We'll check it out in a second here. And you will get connected. Nope, not over there. Can you not? Oh, you only have certain snapping points, huh? Okay, so you know what? Let's move this a little bit further. We can have something like that. Hmm. 
Can we do this right here? Connect these two? No, we can't. But we can run that way. Connect this all over here. Oh no, that's too close. What's our next enclosure? So we can think about where to put that, the birdhouse. So usually, if I remember correctly, I live in Michigan and the zoo's over here. I also lived in Germany, but usually the birdhouses are fairly close to the entrance. And then the lions and the really cool guys are like further back just so you walk all the way through the entire place for you to see cool animals. So let's plop the birdhouse right here. Are there any visitors here yet? I don't even know. Let's put the birdhouse over there and then the antelope enclosure we said was African. And you actually fit. So let's create a little bit of a pathway for Africa. you want to go to Africa, you go right here. And then there's an info booth, is there? Or oh, there isn't. Restroom, souvenir shop, and zoo cafe. But if we grab this one, you get an info booth over here. So do we have a nice spot for that somewhere? You're too big, so why don't we put you right in the middle over here, or right in the middle of these two paths? Maybe? Oh, well, you're so off center. This is the right, this is the middle of it. So, info booth right there. We can, of course, move it. Is there a fountain? That'd be nice if there was a fountain right in the middle of it over here. But that works, and let's grab the antelope enclosure. And you are going to be the beginning of our African adventure, African safari over here. And let's actually beautify this African step. This, this looks a lot like a jungle right now. So, so you over here, you're in Africa. Does this fit? It almost does. Is this in the middle even? How did we place this? Yeah, this is in the middle over here, so what if we put you right there? And then we could plop down a couple of rocks over here. Right across from it. Then actually, you know what we could do? Check this out, guys. I don't know how this is going to look, but that might look decent. Let's grab this. And have it go out right here. We'll get rid of these rocks that we just placed. And I wonder if these fit in here actually, which is the observation towers. That way you can step up a little bit and check out the antelopes. Because <laughs> this is such a huge, huge enclosure, you know, you need to go way up there. Let's get rid of that for a second. <laughs> And we'll do it one right there as well. Looks kind of safari-like as well, I think, doesn't it? And let's surround this with a couple of trees. Too bad we don't have any mods over here so we can have some African-looking trees in this area. But I really like the U. That's how you pronounce it, so we'll just plop one on every corner. And then the Corsican pine over here and then as well. Hi, Mitzi. I don't know if you guys heard that, but that was my cat. So. Here we got the antelope enclosure. I think it looks okay. I'm not too mad about it. Then we gotta think ahead into the future as well. If something would fit right in the middle over here, that would be really nice. Let's see what kind of game booth. Maybe not. Maybe another restroom over here. Or a gazebo fits right in there. Trampoline park, we already have that. 
We need to get the monkey enclosure so we can put the climbing frame right next to it. Um, let's change the name of this place. We got seven visitors so far, guys. Awesome. Let's actually make a bus line real quick, going off topic. Well, let's do... Oh boy, what did I do? No, I do not want to delete this line. I want to delete the stop right there. Let's have a bus line that services the harbor. And then... Never mind, not the harbor. Let's have a bus line that services all of our national parks. So, bus line right there to the zoo. Bus line to our amusement park. A bus line to Tamo Beach. And then you'll go to the... National Preserve, you'll go to Paquete Beach, but we wanted to keep this beach kind of for the locals. So let's not put too much traffic over there, and we got a beach park over there that's for the locals as well. Maybe that's enough. This is a pretty long bus line already. Let's have you go back over here. So let's give that one a different color as it is our national park bus line I don't know what color will make the you will make you maybe red or orange let's do orange why not you get to orange right there it's pretty orange <clears throat> so here's the beginning of our zoo guys already 26 minutes in oh boy this is a long one already as I said there can be so much done over here and then of course you can plop a couple of these guys in the ocean or over here as a gate you know what let's do that we'll have you greeting visitors over here we'll flip you around that looks pretty cool have a couple of cliffs over in the on the on the shores right here. There are already natural cliffs over there, so if we went ahead and continued that trend all the way over there. We don't want to take anything away from these guys. There's palm trees that come with it. We do not need palm trees over there. How would that look? Uh, maybe this is enough. We don't want to overdo it either. So let's just do that. It has a cool entrance now. Let's grab some of these. Oh yeah, we wanted to do something in here, right? We got sidetracked. What can we put in there that wouldn't look? A restroom? Where are the restrooms? Do we even place restrooms? We put a restroom over there, right? Oh yeah, okay. Let's just put a restroom over here. That would make sense. Zoo restroom right over here. And a cafe. Maybe we could do another cafe actually, so that everything looks the exact same. Another cafe over on the other side, behind it. You know what? Since this is African, let's do that. Surrounding it. I think that looks nice. That makes sense. Can we run a path in the middle of it? Or we'll just do... We'll just do palm trees. More palm trees. And a nice little rock in the middle of them. And then I just realized if we do the vegetation around here, this kind of looks like Africa, right? Some wild step land. And let's put up a sign over here that says this way to Africa. And then in the next episode, we'll expand our zoo, we'll let it grow for a little bit, and we'll play around with these little things, the zoo, gr the zoo ground tiles, to make it a little bit more of a 
family friendly area and maybe something to stop at right across from this zoo lake right here uh, the info booth actually so if you do these they fit real nicely two by twos if you line them up right but that's for, for the next episode since we're already 30 minutes in we'll let this thing grow for a little bit hopefully now more visit visitors will find their way into our zoo area and there already seems to be a couple of people coming this guy's already on, on the safari already Let's check out our traffic situation. 77%. Oh my god, what happened over here? Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Disaster. Maybe we should change these into one lanes real quick. We'll fix that. Have you run in a circle. And come out over here. One way for you. I don't know if that helps anything anyway. Because everybody wants to go into the right lane anyway. But maybe maybe it helps. Let's let's see real quick. And then we need to get started on our subway as soon as we can. Why did you just U-turn and you stop me again over here? So it's all just cabs and buses really, that's the problem over here. Not a real big issue. Let's add these let's add a turn lane for these guys. So these guys have a turn lane. If you want to go straight to the zoo, you can do that. And here comes everybody. Heading out from the seaport. This is just madness. Maybe we'll have to add a second port somewhere, I think. So hopefully this will sort itself out a little bit faster now. There's a lot of people heading over to the zoo. Let's check this out right, like, real quick over here. There's a facility that's empty now, so that's good. And this is still pretty backed up. Let's increase the volume that this main street can hold. That makes sense. And this one as well. Up to there, that's okay. Yeah, I mean, if we added a highway off ramp over here, that might help as well. That way, not everybody would be heading, not everybody heading out would be heading this way. So, people who would want to go that way would take this right here so we could add something over here that's just an off-ramp not even an on-ramp because the on-ramp we already have over here so we'll have to do some planning in the future but that's for the next episode we got zoo island over here hope you guys like it I think it looks pretty cool with those two towers maybe what if we did these in this, the same one we already used on the other side, but just flip it around. Just want to see how that looks. Is it this one? Yeah, it is. I think that looks kind of cool. I wish we could add one on top over here. <laughs> Can't raise it up though. So that is okay. And then. Maybe over here we'll make this like a beach area. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the zoo. Let me know all of your ideas in the comment sections. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next episode where the race to get to Tokikai is well underway. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.